Welcome to the Ox Securities tutorial where we will see how to execute trades. Opening a position or entering the market is the primary purchase or sale of a certain amount of a financial instrument. In the trading platform, this can be done by placing a market order, as a result of which a deal is executed. A position can also be opened as a result of a triggered pending order. We will see this type of order in another video. There are several ways to call a dialog window for order creation. Select a symbol in the market watch and click New Order in its context menu, or press the F9 hotkey. Click New Order in the Tools menu or New Order on the standard toolbar. The trade window displays the current best bid and ask price. The tick chart can be shown or hidden in any order placing window. To do this, double click on the window. Check that the instrument you want to trade is listed in the symbol box. You must enter the size of the contract you wish to trade in the volume box. You can select a lot size from the drop-down menu by clicking on the arrow. Alternatively, you can type the trade size directly into the box. The minimum contract size is 0.01 contract. It is important to note that the contract size has a direct impact on your potential profits and losses. Take profit and stop loss are additional orders attached to a position or a pending order. In fact, they are instructions for a broker to close a position when the price reaches a certain level. Take profit is set to lock in profits when the price moves in a favorable direction. Stop loss is intended for limiting losses if the price moves in an unfavorable direction. There is a convenient way to modify prices, volumes or stop loss and take profit levels by a certain amount. Holding shift by 5 points. Holding control by 10 points. Holding control plus hift by 50 points. In the fill policy, additional order filling rules can be specified. Fill or kill or immediate or cancel. Let's see what fill or kill policy is. This fill policy means that an order can be filled only in the specified volume. If the necessary amount of a financial instrument is currently unavailable in the market, the order will not be executed. The required volume can be filled by several offers available in the market at the moment. Immediate or cancel policy. In this case, a trader agrees to execute a deal with the volume maximally available in the market within that indicated in the order. In case the order cannot be filled completely, the available volume of the order will be filled and the remaining volume will be canceled. Although the comment tab is optional, it allows you to identify your trades by adding text. The maximum comment length is limited to 31 characters. When the sell by market or buy by market button is pressed, an order to execute a sell or buy deal at the current price is sent to the broker. The list of currently open positions is displayed in the trading tab of the toolbox window. To modify the stop levels of a position, click modify or delete in its context menu on the trade tab. In the resulting window, the levels can be modified in two ways. Set the new values in the field stop loss and take profit. Set level values as a number of points from the position opening price. The modify button is inactive until the stop loss and take profit are set correctly. To modify the level on a chart, left click on it and drag the level up or down to the required value holding the mouse button. Modification of stop loss and take profit on a chart is only available if the show trade levels option is enabled in the platform settings. The terms of stop levels are specified in symbol properties as known as contract specification. Stop loss is used for minimizing losses if the security price moves the wrong direction. Once a position becomes profitable, its stop loss can be manually moved to a break-even level. Trailing stop automates this process. This tool is especially useful during a strong unidirectional price movement or when it is impossible to monitor the market continuously for some reason. Trailing stop is always associated with an open position or a pending order. It is executed in the trading platform rather than on the server like stop loss. To set a trailing stop, Select Trailing Stop in the context menu of a position or an order in the Trading tab. Select the desired value of a distance between the stop loss level and the current price. Use the Set Custom Level Set button to set trailing stop manually. In order to profit from exchange rate differences, it is necessary to close the position. To close a position, a trade operation opposite to the first one is executed. 
Finally, to close your position, double-click on it or use the command Close Position in its context menu on the Trade tab. Thank you for watching this tutorial.